Last week, the International Maritime Organization finalized a resolution establishing the first global climate framework for international shipping. The resolution includes short-term operational efficiency targets, an absolute emission target for 2050, and the goal of complete decarbonization no later than 2100. This figure shows carbon dioxide emissions from international shipping through 2075 under three scenarios. The black line is a business-as-usual projection of CO2 emissions using data from the United Nations Commission on Trade and Development, the International Transport Forum, along with our own in-house fleet turnover model and global operations data. The blue and green dotted lines highlight the range of possible emission trajectories under IMO's resolution. The blue line is the minimum ambition implied by the strategy while the green line is the maximum possible ambition. IMO's decision implies cumulative CO2 emissions of between 28 and 40 gigatons from international shipping through 2075, compared to more than 100 gigatons under business as usual. While IMO's agreement is ambitious, cutting emissions between 60 and 70 percent, it is still short of the Paris temperature goals. It would allow international shipping to claim between 3.8 and 5.8% of the remaining carbon budget under the Paris Agreement, compared to 2.3% of global CO2 emissions in 2015. For more information, please look at our full policy update on our website.